Welcome back, Captains and Admirals, to another video with a funny muffler. And today we're on Northern Waters Domination. And we've got the Duke of York. So, I do prefer this to the King George. The King George is, is a fantastic tier 6 ship. But I do prefer this one. Um, the main difference is, is the Duke of York has a sticky shot. And the King George has uh, Pyromania, so a higher fire chance uh, they both still have uh, superior he pen they both have modest guns uh, but the duke of york does have an option for a sonar which makes the ship superior in my eyes um so we'll have a quick walk through her stats so sixty thousand five hundred hit points 22 percent reduction to torpedo damage and the armor is between 13 and 381 millimeters so same layout as King George. You got two quads and one double, and they're 356 millimeters. Uh, the range on mine is 17.2. Uh, the reload time is 29.1 seconds, and the turn rate is 32.7 seconds. So the turn rate is a bit sluggish. Fire setting chance is still 41% for the HE shells, which is still quite good. But I will be mostly be using, I think, exclusively using AP this match. Uh, AA defense is fairly good for a tier 6. It's 66 out of 100, but then massive. Uh, the maneuverability, 14.8 uh, seconds runner, sh um, runner shift time, which is very sluggish. Turn in circle is 790 meters, and maximum speed is 26 knots. Concealment, 12.4, which isn't bad, but very good for the battleship. Uh, the upgrades I have on Duke of York, I have Aiming Systems Mod 1. I have the Steering Gears Mod 2 because she really needs it. And I also have Concealment Mod 1 as well. So the AP isn't paying off hugely for us. 6,000 damage. That area. So we are going to push left side, try and secure a calf with our Mogami. Looks like our carrier is going after the enemy destroyer. Yeah, I'm trying to trying to get off this Mogami. I was hoping he would have straightened up rather than trying to turn around me, but uh, it is what it is. Uh, very poor hits there. Only one hit. And there was a shatter on the torpedo belt. Colorado firing HE. Quite odd. We do have Balti there at 14 kilometers behind the island. And he is broadside to us. We'll get some shells out. I look good considering how he was moving, and we do get a citadel on him as well. 27,000 damage, very nice. Or 21,000. Add to our 6,000 damage we already earned. That was a good hit. Duke York's a very solid ship. Um, I am ready in Andrew Cunningham. Uh, I do have high sorcerer uh, guys on, um, on uh, Andrew. So, he has obviously concentrated devastation. Then flammable cannon he has his first skill. Gyrating drill bits. Marksman. I have emergency specialist. And then I have will to rebuild. And then I also have Sharnhorst and Queen Elizabeth as inspirations. Sharnhorst reduces dispersion of main battery. And Queen Elizabeth reduces uh, main battery reload time. Increases uh, AP shell damage and... Uh, improves main battery shell grouping, sorry. At least said dispersion then. I think the reason I run ships like this and I run AP on them is it's to also prove a point as well as yes, the HE is strong, but I see a lot of people just never change to AP. 
And using AP extreme speed, we're still doing really well. Still got 51,000 damage. And that's nothing to sniff out. Like I said, as long as you try to do at least your damage and health, you've at least contributed your ship's worth to the battle. Obviously, you're going to want to try and do as much damage as possible and get to the objectives to try and help your team. So we do pop our radar here. The York is spotted by our radar. He's probably going to try and spray torps at us as we come around the corner. Here they come. Slam their anchors on. And they miss. So considering the amount of damage we've dealt so far, we, we've received very little. Oh, we have used one repair party. Main gun does fire through the mountain, so those shells will become ghosted. Movement is not fantastic. We did get a citadel, though. The only hit we got was a citadel. I'll take that. That's another 10,000 damage. But the reason I popped a DC there, I usually say don't pop a DC on one fire, but we weren't going to be, we weren't going to be spotted, so I popped it. The Zuma doesn't get any extra tick damage on us. We preserve our health. And I popped a heal as well to heal the HE damage we did receive. But yet again, we're still fairly healthy. We do have um, a Lion and a Zuma to our left. We've got the Baltimore in ahead of us and then the Zaitan to our right. I am currently working towards a lock in the Zaitan. Well, I've unlocked the Zaitan, but I need the credits to purchase it. They're currently on 12 million. I need another six to purchase the Zaitan. Shells away. Not, not a fantastic hit, but we'll take any damage we can get. That's under a lot of pressure. Second days are firing at us. We do finish him. Another kill. Well, first kill, actually. I just... I, I looked at the captain and I was like, oh, another kill. It's orange. Oh, easily confused today. One of those days today. Right, so we've got the Leon. We will fire at the Azuma. The Azuma is presenting a better target. I do believe the Azuma has the Agile in camo on as well. Very nice looking camo. Yeah, very nice looking camo. You get a settle on that Azuma. Zuma goes down to the Massachusetts. Nice work. Come on, we're gonna get some citadels on the cargo. Uh, one over pen, three pens, I'll take that, I'll take that all day. is closing with us. This could be, could be a bit of a pain. I think it's the Lion's guns are modest, but it's got so many of them. This could hurt. Yeah, he's turning towards us. I don't think he's going to ram us, but he's definitely going to... Yeah, there we go. He's getting a bit of chunk. Disabled one of our main guns as well. Second days are hitting him. Fire 
Parcival finishes him off and Kaga goes down to the destroyer. GG's very nice. Now I do think we played very well, so we'll see where we come now. Oh really finished the um wild zones for the um I think it's the Eiger. Oh, I'm quite excited to get that ship. We'll uh have to take her off for a test from uh, when we get it, either for a video or on stream, and then we'll uh we'll check her out. I do think we played really well though. There we are, 2750 base XP, one kill, and good amount of credits. But yet again, Amy Systems Mod 1, Searing Gears Mod 2, and Casiba Mod 1. Those are the modernizations I'm running, and Andrew Cunningham with the guys, Devastation, Flammable Cannoneer. You could change from emergency specialist to reach out XXL and then change out from Wiltra Bill to Fight Fight with Fight, which is probably what I, act, what I might actually do, to be fair. And then we've got Sharon Horst and Queen Elizabeth, as they provide a good overall buff. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy the video, please leave a like, leave a comment, and if you're new here, subscribe. If not, feel free to dislike the video, and I will catch you all next time, Captains. So, fair seas. And I'll see you soon.